What have you got in your hands there, Danny boy? I've got lots of screws. Twisted screw face. Yes, yeah, so we've got M5, tailor made, M5, and not seen that in a few years. No, we've got some jazz face yeah. and tracks and bits. We're going to get some on the course. Yep. We've also got some indoor numbers as well. We're going to look at the tech. Shall we? In my opinion, this video, if anyone's <laughs> getting a little upset. So initial look, Stan, it's that classic, lovely yeah. greyish finish with carbon tops. So they're starting to quieten this down, aren't they? This is getting thinner and thinner yeah. over the generations, of because so it used to be back out here, this sort of white finish, and now it's gone to grey. But that does, that carbon, and that little bit of lipstick around there looks lovely, doesn't it? It does look nice. Yeah. So nothing in that one that would make you think... Oh, I don't like it. It's continuing the trend that I've had with co uh, with um, tailor-made drivers for years, which is that they just look fantastic. They do. They do a great job of uh, appearances for their with their drivers. Aesthetically, it just looks really pleasing to the eye. You know. It's starting to sit open again, isn't it? You feel like it sits slightly open. I just feel like when I put it down, it just wants to. I, I, I kind of keep on, trying which to. Which way are you going so with it? Just, it just wants to sit back here. Yeah. Yeah. And I just feel like I have to keep bringing it round. Okay. God, oh, that's a carbony sound, is it not? That's a very different sound. Not heard that. That's carbon. You're right. Yeah, that was like it what was hard. Often have sounded like for. It was hard but pingy at the same time. Strange good noise. Very good shot. Felt great. Yeah, I'm loving the look of that. That's just as good as it gets, isn't it? it is. I'm liking this thinner. The more dark and then with the dark face i think that looks really quite smart don't really notice the screws when you look down either not at all no that's sitting at all okay for you is that not sitting open? i know what you mean i think it sits fine yeah oh i like that sound a lot i mean it's very callaway-esque it is do you know what i mean they're one of the first ones in my head that gave you that kind of fud sound with the carbon that I might be wrong there's some of those other you know it's what I remember as the first one where the sound changed and it went away from that titanium ting loving that uh, right look <laughs> <laughs> look at those oh, that is absolutely superb stuff so two drives Dan's the double zero boy double I've just zero. got a practice ball <coughs> That's Dan. I've done you by two. You've done me by two bases. And that's more on the line. I reckon I've just snuck it up the left. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, we're going to hit more. Let's, before we hit a few more, let's go and see what TaylorMade say about... Let's go and see what TaylorMade say about the tech of this club. Let's go and see what TaylorMade are actually saying. TaylorMade M5. So we get twist face that we've seen from prior models. That's where they bend the toe back and up a little bit more, trying to help and heel down and lower a bit more. So when you hit toe or heel and you get the gear effect drawing or fading shots, trying to start it a bit more offline to allow it to curve more onto target. We now see the two red dots on the face, two red screws. So what they're saying with the face is they're designing them to and above the legal limit on COR. So how much spring, if you like, face or, or comes off the face. Then what they do is with the two holes here, they put resin in here that brings the face back to what they're saying, just below and to the legal tolerance of a face. So in theory, you're gonna get fast ball speeds with this one. We've got the new T-Track on the bottom as well, two 10 gram movable weights. It's kind of deeper, more to the outskirts of the club, really allowing you to dial in what kind of launches, feels and spins that you might be after um, when it comes to moving the weight forward, lowering the spin, back, hiring the spin and increasing the MOI. Good for custom fit options. And we've got Hammerhead 2.0 on the bottom as well, helping with ball speeds across the face and increasing the size of the sweet spot, the website actually says. Not sure you could increase, in, include, uh, increase the a sweet spot because the center of gravity is the center of gravity, but maybe their ideas of a sweet spot is different to my ideas. You also get the changeable neck that we've seen for years, it must say, from TaylorMade now, which again is all good for dialing in those looks, shapes of shots, lofts that you might be looking for when you're getting these custom fit. 
So there is a lot going on. So bringing that face past the legal limit and then bringing it back, is that actually I mean, that's going amazing. to be a measurable difference, which we'll see, or is it a fantastic story? Because I tried having this conversation on Twitter the other day, right? and the thing that stood out to me was how people hung on to the phrase past the legal limit more than the actual truth of what it is. So it's clever. Do you know what I mean? It's like saying it's better than others, but we had to bring it back. But people just hear it's better a little bit. It's interesting marketing. But I'm excited to see the indoor numbers of this one or to show them because obviously in theory, if you think about that, this club is done. It's nothing's... We're, well, how we're, can we're you max. improve? How can you improve on we're this now? We're max CT. Look at that little hole there. Hmm? There's a little hole in the middle there. Where is there? There's a tiny little hole in there. Like a pinprick hole. Yeah, I see that, absolutely. Just to get the old magnifying glass on that one. I mean, it's some big claims, but as we know, TaylorMade are not afraid to make the biggest claims not. of many. They're not at all, are they? Um, so again, it'll be interesting to see. When it comes to looks and sound at the moment, I'm digging it massively. I love that. It's, it's kind of like a matte, isn't it? It's a matte carbon. It is a lovely carbon finish. Um, it is a matte finish yeah, on that. That's it's not really, really, really nice. glowing no. and shining. Um, shop appeal again i think taylor made just nail yeah, the shop they appeal. do um they just nail people it. are just picking that up yeah they? and loving love and that. I, I get that That's and the good. car little bit of carbon in here which i'm not sure if that actually is but it certainly gives it that that sort of visual that that's a carbon yeah. soul to it right you're one down so we're going to go fairway and distance again on this one yeah. maybe so should we have one standard and one that we really hit hard yeah okay so i'm gonna do standard first hard fairway second kinder. See what we can push out of this thing. It's a bit healy, it's cutting away. Shame. Slightly necky? Yeah, I think I caught it right in there. It's just cut it away a bit. Okay, so that's not very, so let's have one where you're hitting it <coughs> flat out. Let's hit that one. I need to hit it flat out more often. That was good, was it? That was that was my second one's redeeming. Second one is you'll be struggling against me on that one, yeah, I think. Good. And you're that liking the sound still? Yeah, really. Acoustics wise, that is absolutely superb. Looking down on it, brilliant. Really good. So I'm gonna go fairway standard ball to start and then try and hit one harder. Yeah. Definitely looks as good as anything out there. I'm happy for the track to be there, all good for fitting, isn't it? And it's very on the extremes of the club, which I quite, uh, quite like. Definitely gives that fitter those few more options. Um, it's good. Twist face. I've done some research on twist face with um, Shotlink. I've seen no improvements from players. Certainly they're flagship players in directional thing, and I haven't seen that over the years. Testing, but it is so subtle, maybe it makes no difference. Do you know what I mean? Fairway then. Yeah, fairway wins. Stay left. That should be fair. Oh, it has to carry on that line. Get left. Oh, I think that's fairway. Still liking the sound of yeah, that? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Could game that. Could game that all day. It's a good driver. Yeah. Really. I'm going to hit one as hard as I can now then, because you've put it out there that you've absolutely right. mullered it. So do I need to do it like a step through biggie, do you I? I do, I think. And we'll get the right line and everything. Yeah. I didn't have much speed in my... There. I did it alright, it's not big, I didn't have much speed in me. So I don't, I don't, it'd be interesting to see. I'm not sure how much further that is than my standard one. It was an average hit. I need it up here, yeah, really. Yeah, high toe, you got it a bit healy, did you though? Well, you could say, I reckon more there, so maybe a millimetre heel, but again, you know, uh, we won't talk about the face, people just get upset. Oh. So that's, is that my first that's, one over there? Yeah, your first one's over in the trees there, bro. So we've got Dan heading out for his first one. Healy cut, wasn't it, Dan? Yeah, Healy cut. So he's not getting a point there. Then this is my first one, which has just caught the fairway. Basically rough just starting here. 
and then we've got the two bigger ones and Dan has, let's get down there and show you, but Dan has done me on those. Mm. When you ripped yours, you're saying? That, that is as good as I've hit a drive for a long time. At that speed, you know? Yeah, yeah. To be able to do that and keep it online. How many past me is that? 15? On the angle, probably about 10 to 15, yeah. yeah. And I hit mine fine. I reckon I could have had a maxed out strike. Yeah. But the other thing as well with the long ones for me is I am, I'm relying on a bit of roll for my, I'm a chaser. You know, I want a low spin, bit of extra yeah. carry and chase, chase to get it. past you. You with your new angle of attack, I would expect you to do this. But um, it has to be said, I'm well impressed with how I've hit mine, and I'm sure you are with yours. Yeah, I mean this. I mean it's a bit of a bit of a bit of an interwind here today. So for me to get it this close with this wet fairway, that's as that's as big as I've got really. Right before we go inside and look at the numbers, we've got one more test. We're teeing up here on the left side of this tee. Yeah. And we're going to try and uh, hit a little bit of a draw ball, so shaping it. What is the score at the minute? Two, well you want, yes, it's two, two, one, so you're one up. So what's this, this is nearest the green with shapes. Got to yeah. draw on nearest the green, I guess, yeah. nearest the pin. So can we hit it hard again? Well, you're gonna, I'm going to need to, to get it there. Yeah. Um, hammerhead, has it, I mean, it's a new hammerhead, they say. Are you feeling any difference? Not feeling, I mean, I'm not feeling anything... <sighs> can't say I'm not feeling anything different off the face because I am it's it's the acoustics it's sounding different it's sounding quite hard off the face yeah which is nice you know yeah, 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 so yeah. whether that's got anything to do with that I don't know and we yeah. can I don't know I if we could test that to do with the carboning of it and those kind of things yeah, yeah this will be fun they're just on the green so we better wait for the green oh they finish oh yeah no they're gone they're gone they're on that's the, the next 18th. tee isn't it they're on the 18th right. right so we have to hit a little draw yeah? two goes at it or one well, I could then half up and then win. So yeah, two yeah. goes. Two goes is fun, because I want to hit two hits of it. Yeah. So you the same shot twice. Same shot twice. So if you hit a good one the first one, you know, you can choose to have another go, or you might think, oh, I've done it. Okay. You've got the advantage here, because I don't think I can reach. Yeah, that's drawing. It's straight. It's, going, isn't it? it's hard to tell how you struck that with that sound. Was that Healy or not? Middle. Well, no? it, it drew a little bit, didn't it? I think it's there. Yeah, it's a good hit. So, so I, I mean, that, the sound is so yeah, different. It's hard, it's hard to, to, to determine what it is. Go on, you hit another one then. Yeah, I, I would say you hit that one better, didn't you? I think they're almost the same. Okay, we'll get up there and see. Obviously a bit of bouncing, but two very repeatable good shots Yeah, again. very good. So you would say I got a little bit of shape there, yeah? Yeah, they drew, both drew, not massively, yeah. but you don't need to draw it no. massive. But intended challenge, if you like, hit a draw, you did it. I would say with all these modern day clubs though, I really do struggle to shape them quite a lot. Yeah, now I'm gonna pick you up on that because I think that's a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> I just feel like that's I... That's a cliche. I don't know, I just feel yeah, like... I agree you don't know. Yeah. I don't agree with you at all. I don't agree at all. I just feel like I can't move it that much. No, I, well, I can show you many amateurs moving things a lot, every second, every shot. Face the path is face the path. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a face is too open to a path. The spin axis is going to be tilted. It doesn't know what implement has made it too open to a path. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah of course. That's, you should do some commentary with things like that. <laughs> get you on sky, bro. <laughs> right, big draw then. Got to get it up there. I did this well to get past you, aren't I? Yeah. That's drawing. That's, that's, not, that's running as well, isn't yeah, it? I might get a bit of lucky run. Yeah, that's chasing. Good flight. Good sound, good flight. I'm really excited to see and show the numbers. Because in theory, we've got a maxed out club. In theory, we've got the longest club I should have ever hit. In theory, tailor-made fanfare is true. Because um, on course performance, hitting it just out here, trying to gain shots, loving it. More yeah. height on that, that one, but it might catch higher the semi, which is a shame because I've hit that one better. 
Oh, let's. This is tight. That shaped nicely. That one. I've hit. Good shot. I, I like it. Struck that. Like almost perfect. Slightly high, slightly toe. Yeah, spot on. Like it. Well, you've hit two identicals. They are yeah. both yours, aren't they? Both mine. And then, so my second is level with your whatever one, almost maybe a yard head. My first has caught the bunker, and that's the winner. I reckon that could have pitched up here, though. There's a spot there. I mean, they, I don't know. I couldn't see him land, so I don't. I couldn't say that that's definitely it. But that's they a, had a good that's a flight, didn't they? For you, isn't it? I'm a bit gutted with this one because this one's rolled back into the bunker. I'm gutted for you. I that one. How's that one got there? Do you reckon that must reckon be up you, to pitching did you there? Turn that over a bit more. I don't it was a fraction left, but it was a higher flight. That I would have been if that was on the line of yours. It would have been interesting to see where that one ended up. Mm. Because it's got mud on it, like it has pitched and stopped. Yeah. But I, I mean, just good club. Just a really, good club, really isn't good. It? I'm looking forward to getting in there and. Let's um, go and look at the numbers. Look Let's at the go numbers. and look at these numbers. Yeah. Numbers time. Let's collect and see what happens with this maxed out driver. <laughs> I did under there. So, uh, I'm surprised we've got a master's chair in here, Dan. Yeah, well, you don't think he's no been, has he? Nobody's oh. donated one to me yet. Um, oh, yeah. You're only allowed to bring one of them back. Baggage weight. Let's have a look at your numbers before we look at mine and Daniel's son. What yep. are your averaging for distance? So distance wise, on an average you can see here 256 yeah. average carry. Got a couple of shaky ones there, but my so best is 276. Two and a 245 in there. If you take those, take two, those out, two out, you get 262 <laughs> average. <laughs> Lovely. Ball speed 152 two average, average, fastest 157. 157, yeah, which is so good you, for me. You did say on the last one that you went for it a little bit. Just gave it a little bit, and I got about, well, I got one mile an hour on my average. And two on the last fast. two hits. Yeah. But you did try, you were getting upset that you didn't send it far enough, wouldn't you? Correct. I wanted a bomb ball. Yeah. Okay, well, let's have a look at my numbers now. Ryan Little. <laughs> There'll be some fun numbers to look at in a second with the old toe strikes that I've hit there. So my numbers, what am I averaging distance wise? So I've taken out a couple of your poorer ones. Yeah, I've some big, big toes. Yeah, the, the early get, one. Getting a lot of big rights on testing in here. Obviously didn't get them as much outside, but no. in here, and that's what I'm always scared with that face. Well, look, I just want to see, you know the bright ones that you've had? It's toes, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't come back. It's when you're back. towing it, it's not coming back for you. If you go back, so I'm averaging 256 with my two shortest hits disabled, longest hit 263, two, and then two 260s. So that's yeah. not bad. Highest ball speed 151. Yeah. And I'm spinning at 2 1. You were yeah. spinning yours at 26. Two, six. So it's all kind of in place. Yeah. Um, what's interesting, if you bring, if you show me the strike on my longest hit. So your longest hit, which was the second one up, okay is two millimetres in the heel, three millimetres high. So, I mean, I'm not seeing anything from the massive claims in my data. And that's always my bugbear when it comes to certainly TaylorMade and their taglines. They've got a lot of brouhaha and it works and I hope they sell hundreds of millions of them. But it's not a reflection of how the club is performing in any way for me. You go and test it. One little thing that really annoys me with these, look. Can you see where the weights are? Yeah, so that's coming in. So the weights are here. So if you, I'll do the point because you're always the perspective of yeah. the camera. You get the perspective of the camera. That doesn't line up with the graphics on the face in any way. Now I'm not saying the weights are where the center of gravity is, but it was quite interesting how 
my better shots were coming more out the heel and I actually hit it there and don't like it I get a lot of high toes not coming back and I am not the only person who has reported high toes not coming back on a face that has twist face design great looking club absolutely could game it that might annoy me over time the striking things yeah. um, brilliant looking twist face for me does nothing injected twist face is just it's it's for me it's taglines only, but at no point would I say don't go and try this club because it's a good one. Do go and try it. Did you game it? I could absolutely game this club. Um, I think it just aesthetically, and that's one of the big things for me is what it sounds like and what it looks like. Yeah. Um, it's going to perform as well as probably anything else out on the market, I think, from what we've tested totally today. Will. It's never going to, I would never say a Taylor made club is going to be lower than anything out there. It's yeah. going to be in with the back. Absolutely. But obviously, it's the claims of it saying that it's going to be. I mean, again, like I said earlier in this video or another one, maybe it just shows that everyone else is already building their clubs a decent standard, mm. and maybe they haven't before. And now they've just worked out how to do it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so you could game it. You like? I the like sounds, it. You like yeah. sound? I love the sound of it. I think it just. I think they've kind of got the detailing really well on the top with the with the carbon that matte finish. Now they've kind of quietened down that rail, um, which did did offend me in the previous models. Okay. It was a bit big, um, but this is just. I think this is spot on. I think they've got this really well. Done well with it.